So I'm here with Richard Johnson, who works on Kubuntu, but you've got a huge list of job titles. So what are all the things you do? Um, some of the stuff I do is, uh, in, the, in the Kubuntu community, is I'm, uh, I'm one of the, the lead developers in a, in a very small team of some of the most amazing developers I've worked with. Um, also a Kubuntu community council member, um, which works and pretty much interacts with the smaller Kubuntu community the same way that the Ubuntu Community Council does. Uh, we do memberships and, and make uh, decisions on, on what our future releases are going to be like. Um, outside of Kubuntu, I'm also on the Motu Council, um, which is <clears throat> really just helps guide the, uh, the current set of Motu developers. and We uh, create and help maintain uh, any formal processes that um, the Motu community has. Also a core developer, which is now in the main and restricted uh, parts, so I have upload rights for that, which a majority of the time is all just KDE-based stuff in main. Mm -hmm. um, in the universe world, I, whatever needs to get done, I, I help do. So Keeps you very busy then, and you're also um, uh, part of the Loco team here in is it San Francisco? No, no, team? actually I'm uh, the uh, founder for Ubuntu Chicago. Ah, Chicago, right. Yeah, okay. yeah, so... Um, the great state of Illinois, where the governor is now in jail. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that was in the news yesterday, yeah. a couple of nights ago. Yeah, wasn't it? excellent. So, okay, so what are you uh, doing here at uh, UDS Jaunty then? I am here mostly to uh, actually. I have three tracks that I'm really interested in. First track is is community working with uh, you know Jono, George, and Daniel on uh, on you know how how we can better the community that we have now. Um, the other track that I'm in is all the Kubuntu tracks mm -hmm. and uh, all the development like Motu and Core Council and the whole archive reorganization talks that have been going on. Yeah, so that's about this proposal, isn't it, to move all of the stuff that's in Maine, in, sorry, all the stuff that's in everything Universe into Maine. Everything mm. into um, one general archive. Um, and what that will allow is instead of having, you know, like right now, a core developer has commit rights to all of main and, and all of restricted, and Motu has commit rights to universe and multiverse, um, with the whole archive organization, we'll be able to, allow, we'll, we'll be able to uh, provide um, access to people to allow them to do certain types of stuff. So like for the Kubuntu community, um, you know, the, the Kubuntu Community Council would be able to allow a new developer coming in instead of having to go through a mode to report that process. We can give them commit rights specifically to KDE based stuff that's mm. in the archive. So, so what's the, um, the big reason for the, the shake up? Because it's quite a huge change, isn't it? Honestly, the whole reason behind it, I am unsure of. That was actually <laughs> something that was brought up two years ago, right. I believe. I mean, it's, it's, been a fairly substantial work in progress. Um, it's been talked about quite a bit for over the past two years, and this is the first time I've really seen a lot of people really, really pushing for it. So, mm. um, I think I heard in a meeting um, on Tuesday, uh, six to eight weeks is what they're looking at, wow. and getting it implemented in the uh, jaunty cycle. Wow. Okay, um, and that make life easier for you as a as a core dev, or, or will it make people will it make it more difficult for people to get involved in the first place? You think it's gonna make it easier, uh, I believe, because uh, um, like right now in the process, like you know, typically we tell people to become a Motu first, and from there go to core dev. Um, with this here, you'll be able to allow you know we'll look for more specialized people instead of you know generalists. Like um, the way it was when I became Motu a couple of years ago it was. You know, they didn't want to see just my KDE-based and Kubuntu-based packages. They wanted to see me work in other areas, such mm -hmm. you know, as you know, or, or the server or whatnot. Um, so now it'll be, you know, we'll be able to allow to direct specialized people to certain areas. So mm -hmm. um, another thing that happens with this is, I mean, the masters of the universe are Motu. They go away, as do core developers. And everybody that has access rights to the archive then will be called Ubuntu developers. So that was what the discussion this week was bringing up. Is there still going to be a differentiation between developers who have um, different rights, or is everybody literally the same rights? Um, yeah, everybody's going to have the same... Well, I shouldn't say the same rights. You, some people are going to have... I mean, there's going to be a select few that has rights to everything. Mm. 
and then uh, there's pretty much everybody else is going to have specialized sections that we, they work in. So. Okay, cool. So what sort of things are coming up for Kubuntu in the next cycle? Um, well, we have uh, KDE 4.2 will uh, be the uh, big push. Um, a lot of people have seen the 4.1 and 4.1 releases. 4.1 definitely being better than the 4.0 release, but 4.2 is, right now, it's it's getting a lot of the functionality that people have requested. It is uh, much better looking. Um, stuff is starting to work a lot better. So right now what we want to do in the Kubernetes community is produce the best KDE-based distro that we possibly can. Um, with our decision on going away from KDE3 because we were unsure of the commitment by KDE um, on future releases of the 3.5 series, we decided to get rid of it and stick specifically with KDE4, and it kind of upset a lot of people in the community, and, you know, we understand, but uh, we really wanted to kind of look towards the future on, on, on that stuff, so we're working hard now to try and, you know, get a lot of people that kind of decided, well, mm. you know, Kubuntu kind of went a different direction than I was really hoping, so we're hoping to bring them back here. Because um, we, you know, we definitely need the new users. We need their input. Um, they're probably the most important aspect in the whole development process. So, when did KDE 3.5 get dropped? Was it in Intrepid? Um, what are we in Marjanti Intrepid? Yes, it got right. yeah in Intrepid. Um, there were still some KDE 3 based packages because there was no KDE 4 counterparts. Um, we're getting closer to not having any KDE 3 counterparts right now. There's still a couple. Um, Amarok 2.0 was just released yesterday, so that allows us to get rid of the KD3 version of it. Um, there's a couple big programs that a lot of people that use Kubuntu or KD based distros um, for IRC, they like Conversation. Mm. Um, that's still KD3 based. There hasn't been a KDE4 port of it. I, it's in the process, um, but it's one of the more fairly substantial applications in the KDE community, which is really impressive. Um, the other one is K3B, which is our CD burning, DVD burning application. Um, that's another one that's still in the process of being boarded over. Do you think these all reach KDE 4 native versions by jaunty release? Um, conversation, would pro I probably would have to say, we'll probably have at least a beta release or something. <clears throat> As for K3B, that I'm unsure of. I haven't really followed the development on that closely. Okay, cool. Um, so, what is it you're doing with the Chicago Loco team? What sort of things go on there? Um, right now, we're kind of doing a restructuring. We kind of uh, the people that I had turned over the uh, the Loco team to um, last year. You know, their personal lives they had to get really involved in it, so they had to kind of step away, um, and a lot of stuff got sidetracked. Um, right now, what I'm trying to do is work with a couple other members in our in our community, and you know, do our uh, our install fasts and you know our ad our advocacy and um, dual packaging jams and bug jams and stuff like that, trying to get people who are interested in all sorts of you know all sort uh, all aspects of Ubuntu development, whether it's you know the community development or software development, and uh, we're gonna offer stuff like a packaging 101, 102 type deal, you know, so it'll be in stages, and we'll also do that with like uh, bug triaging and stuff like that. Okay, so it sounds like quite a lively local team you've got going on there. Um, not as lively as the uh, local team in France. <laughs> no. That's for sure. I mean, 4,000 people at their event this week. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't so think insane. Yeah, I don't think many people could uh, meet no, that one. No, that's going to be tough. Okay, so what are your plans for the rest of the week? rest of the week is more community development. Um, we got a couple of sessions today on uh, Kubuntu. And then I'll probably be working a little bit on some of the restructuring stuff that we're working on, and uh, a, a big push on upstream bug reports. So I'm also a member of the uh, KDE community as a as a developer, I've been there for a while. Um, I'm on their version of a community council, I guess you would say as well, which is the KDE V. So we want to try and work with upstream as much as possible, push as many patches up there, fix as many as many bugs as we can. So. Excellent. Well, enjoy the rest of the week. Thank you for talking to me today. All right, thank you. It was a pleasure.